What is happening, movie lovers, film buffs, and everybody else? I am David, the Film Junkie, and I'm going to bring you some movie news you can find on your own, but I'm going to find it for you and tell you about it. Keep it on the down low, though, because... Well, who cares? It's fucking everywhere. I tend to ramble on, guys. I'm sorry. Let's get started. Before I get started, I'll just make sure you guys saw the Q&A with Casual Batman, where he talks about the Batman vs. Superman news. Yeah. Make sure you watch that. I'll have an annotation after this video to watch that. And please do, because he gets a little cranky if you don't. Yeah, you better watch that shit. See? Sequels and prequels. All right, in sequel news, Harrison Ford talks about a possible fifth Indiana Jones movie. No, 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 no. No, I'm sorry, but I was not a fan of the fourth Indiana Jones movie. I mean, the original was so iconic, so awesome, and then they just blew it out of the water with Shia LaBeouf and shitty CG effects. He says he's down to do it, but I mean, if they haven't really gotten anything in production right now, that we're not that movie's not gonna see light till about 2016 or so. You're getting old, dude. I think it's time to retire the hat and the whip, and please don't retire it to Shia LaBeouf because just. No. James Cameron came out of the woodworks and said there's not going to be two Avatar sequels after all. Yeah. There's gonna be three. Why not? We like to give James Cameron our money. No, that's probably a good idea. If instead of having like two really long movies, why not have shorter three? Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, he's got writers penning his stories and I guess the first uh, Avatar sequel is gonna be released uh, December 2016. That's what I'm, that's the impression I'm getting. What's up, James? You don't want to be trendy and like everybody else and release the movie in 2015? That's not right. I guess we're going to film all the movies at the same time because, you know, 2017, we'll see the next one, 2018, 2019, you know how that goes. Pacific Rim might see a sequel after all. <laughs> yes, after having an underwhelming box office because for some freaking reason, you people wanted to see Grown Ups 2 instead. It's beyond me because Pacific Rim was just like the ultimate monster movie and it was a freaking work of art. It was a masterpiece, but for some reason people just wanted to see Adam Sandler get pissed on and people get kicked in the balls and fart jokes. Yeah, America. I say America because it seems that the international box office might pave the way for a Pacific Rim sequel because they see good movies over there. So that's good news to hear because I really enjoyed Pacific Rim. I mean, if you haven't seen it yet, well, yeah, I guess you could wait till it comes out, but I mean, watch it on a crystal clear, like, you know, flat screen. It's, it's a beautiful movie and the action's great. I mean, it was just an overall fun experience. And like I said, I just don't understand why people flock to Adam Sandler's cliche movies and recycled movies and didn't want to see something newish. Or maybe they really thought this is what they were going to see. Reboots and remakes. Scarface reboot in the works? Yeah, looks like it, which is just retarded. Scarface is one of those timeless films that really should never be remade. But you know Hollywood, they like to remake everything, so they already have, they've, it's already in pre-production. It's already has a script or it's being worked on. I mean, I guess there was a guy who did one of the Harry Potter movies. He was going to attempt to do it, but not so much anymore. I think he dropped out because of scheduling conflicts or that he came to his senses and realized that's just a bad idea. Speaking of other reboots and remakes, whatever the heck, The Mummy is also going to get a refresh, a reboot. Yes. Ah, I find it a little too soon. I mean, I really liked the first one. The first one was cool. The second one was yeah, and the third one. And the director of the Underworld franchise, he was actually going to take on the project, but he dropped out because of scheduling conflicts, or he's coming to his senses and being like, uh, I don't want to do that. I think it's a little too soon for a reboot, but hey, I'm not a greedy industry of Hollywood. Well, all right, guys, that's all the movie news I wanted to talk about today. Make sure you hit that like, thumbs up button. If you like this video, subscribe to my channel if you have not already. And please watch Casual Batman, okay? I'm plugging you. Is that good? Is that okay? Yeah, keep doing that, okay? Jackass. This guy. Make sure you head to the website autocorrectfailings.com for those hilarious autocorrect fails. You know, tell your friends about it. Get it out there. I'd sure appreciate it. All right, guys, I am David, the Film Junkie, and this has been some movie news you could find on your own, but I found it for you and told you about it. That's such a long tagline. I should find something better. All right, guys, talk to you later.